Tom Downey here for NFL Daily by Chat Sports, breaking down where things sit with the NFL head coaching searches. Several spots filled, several spots open. Three head coaching jobs have been filled thus far. The Patriots stuck with the initial plan and gave the job to Gerard Mayo, which had been written into his contract as the coach in waiting. Antonio Pierce earned the job as the interim head coach for the Raiders. And then on Monday evening, Brian Callahan, the first outside hire, the Bengals' offensive coordinator, getting to be the new Titans head coach. The open head coaching jobs then sit like this. The Atlanta Falcons, the Carolina Panthers, the Washington Commanders, the Seattle Seahawks, and the Los Angeles Chargers, which maybe will only be filled for just a little bit longer. But as of filming, that job is currently open. So of these five gigs... Which is the most, or which is the best job, the most intriguing job out there? ATL for the Falcons, CAR for the Panthers, WAS for the Commanders, SEA for Seattle, or LAC for the Chargers. Now, I think most are going to vote Chargers here because of the presence of Justin Herbert. And the report out of NFL Network is that the Chargers are getting closer to hiring Jim Harbaugh and the Conversations have been ongoing as we sit here filming this between those two sides. The Falcons have shown some interest, but the Chargers meeting with their former quarterback. Yeah, kind of funny how that works out uh, for the, the second time. This had been the heavily linked spot all offseason. Plus, if you can go get, uh, if you can go get uh, the, the coach, coach Herbert, and Herbert's a great spot for a team, it just, it just kind of makes sense for Harbaugh having to stare. Plus, he spent so much time on the West Coast. It was the Raiders quarterback's coach, San Diego head coach, Stanford head coach, Niners head coach, and then it took a very long time in Michigan after kind of being a bit of a job jumper previously, but he's wanted every single spot he's been as a head coach since 2004. Everywhere he goes, he wins. That makes him a very appealing candidate since he's won the national championship for his uh, for his for his hometown team, so to speak. He, of course, played at Michigan as a Michigan man. Kind of like LeBron, right? You, you win it for the Midwestern team you grew up with, and then you go uh, out to L.A. To, to do your next phase. Kind of funny that works out. The other Chargers interviews here, which are worth mentioning, uh, Leslie Frazier was interviewed, Aaron Glenn, Patrick Graham, Ben Johnson, Mike McDonald, Todd Monken, Kellen Moore, uh, Raheem Morris had been interviewed. Dan Quinn, they interviewed David Shaw. He's got several interviews, not a non-zero chance. He joins the Harbaugh staff from their time together at Stanford. Uh, Jeff Smith got an interview as the interim head coach. Mike Vrabel got an interview. Steve Wilkes. Uh, but the heavy buzz so far has been the interest in Jim Harbaugh. There was even a report from Aaron Wilson. Uh, the rumored top assistants could look like this for Harbaugh. Greg Roman, which, oh boy, I don't love that one. Uh, he can't design a passing game. That's not, that's not what he's good with. Uh, Jesse Minter and Jay Harbaugh would join the, from the Wolverines to L.A., and I think Minter gets a D.C. job in the NFL if he wants one from either Harbaugh brother. There's ties to both of them there, of course. So if it happens, or maybe when it happens, potentially, grade Jim Harbaugh to the Chargers. A, B, C, D, or F, sound off for me in the comments section, the pinned comment of today's video. Let's check in on the other open head coaching jobs here. The Atlanta Falcons, they've been heavily linked to Bill Belichick all cycle long, but there have been rumors of that slowing down. Maybe it's not the best fit, whatever. Maybe they're going to go in a different direction. Maybe it's negotiating in the, in the media. Who knows? Here is the list of second interviews uh, finished, planned, requested, or scheduled. Now, I will make note, guys like Anthony Weaver, Mike McDonald, Aaron Glenn, Ben Johnson, those guys can't have the second interview um, until later in the process because they're still in the, they're still in the playoff, one, so that has to come after this weekend. So if you want one of those guys, you got to wait longer there. Bill Belichick, of course. Ajiro Evero's had interest. Anthony, by the way, well-liked in, in, in some coaching circles, uh, could be a future D.C., but he'd be skipping the line because of leadership, basically. Mike McDonald, love what he's done on defense. Aaron Glenn is a former player. He's loved by his players. I think if you want to go, go the also-ran route among d defensive coordinators, I think Raheem Morris is due for a new shot. And then Bobby Slowick, Ben Johns, kind of far and away 
are the top two options for the young, innovative offensive mind. Uh, some other interviews the Falcons had. Try to get one with Jim Harbaugh for a second. Don't know if that's going to happen, by the way, because of the Chargers' uh, interest. Joe Brady, Brian Johnson, who is now fired as the Eagles head uh, OC. He's not going to get the job, obviously. Steve Wilkes and Mike Vrabel, who kind of quiet around him. You know, we'll see what happens on that front. So will the Falcons hire Bill Belichick as their head coach? Why for yes and for no? Go ahead and sound off for me in the comment section right now. While you are down there, make sure you have downloaded the Game Time app at GameTime.co. They are the place for killer last-minute tickets, and they are the fast and easy way to buy tickets for sports, music, comedy, theater events, etc. If you are trying to go to the big game in Vegas this year for the NFL, you have to use Game Time because they are giving any user, whether new or old, a hundred bucks off your ticket. You simply use promo code Vegas100, and they're going to give you a hundred dollars off your ticket. Imagine what else you can do with a hundred dollars in Vegas can bet it all on black. It never fails, right? If you're not going to the big game, that is okay as well. The NFL chat 20 bucks off promo code is still eligible as well. Simply use promo code NFLCHAT for $20 off your first purchase to anything. It could be, you know, it could be just a concert. It could be a theater for a show, maybe for your wife. It could be a different sporting event altogether. But if you are going to the big game this year, Yet there's no way you can't use game time. They're literally giving you 100 bucks off. So use promo code Vegas100, V E G A S, for 100, with 100, for $100 off. The link and the promo code are going to be in the comment section and the description of today's show. We appreciate game time sponsoring us here at NFL Daily. Let's go to Carolina. They have hired a new GM. Dan Morgan is the man uh, to take over things in Carolina. He was the kind of assistant GM, gets promoted, probably going to have a new like money salary cap guy uh, as a high-ranking assistant in that organization. But Carolina's gone with an interesting path. Not that many second interviews scheduled as of this stage. Uh, they do plan some with both Raheem Morris and Dave Canales, who has ties to Dan Morgan. So keep an eye on the Bucks offensive coordinator. Uh, for this potential job here. Other names, Ben Johnson, Todd Monken. I love the Monken hire for the Ravens. I'm not sure he's head coach. He's a good offensive coordinator. Bobby Slowick, Frank Smith. If you have coached in the Shanahan McVay tree and you are an offensive coordinator, you're going to get head coaching interviews no matter what. Uh, Chris Tabor got an interview. That's not going to happen. It just was kind of doing a guy a solid. Dan Quinn got, uh, uh, has an interview. So that's interesting. I'm not sold on him after the way the season ended. Again, Mike McDonald, Raheem Morris, good defensive minds. And I'm sure the new guy, if they don't hire Giro ever, I would want to try to keep him in place. So who will Carolina hire as their head coach? I think it's an open search still to a certain extent. I kind of wonder if it's going to be Dave Canales out of nowhere. Uh, maybe not out of nowhere, but as a surprise emergence. Who, I like what he's done in Seattle and Tampa, by the way. Who do you think it ends up being? Sound off in the comments section. To the Commanders now. This is no longer the uh, laughing stock joke I used to make it because they've made some pr promising changes with new ownership in. Adam Peters was a home run hire as much as we can you know, hope one to be. If we don't know how it all works out in the end, of course. Uh, as their new GM, ownership is making real change and making upgrades. I think this is a very appealing job with the number two overall pick and a ton of cap space as well. The list of second interview coaches so far. Bobby Slowick, Dan Quinn, Aaron Glenn, Ben Johnson, Raheem Morris. Now, again, Glenn and Johnson have to wait an extra, you know, weekend. Uh, I think Ben Johnson has been a popular target for them. Can they land him? We shall see. Uh, I think it'd be a, a really good addition for the commanders. The other known interviews were Anthony Weaver, Mike McDonald. They also interviewed Eric Bieniemy, which, okay, yeah, it doesn't really do anything as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'd keep an eye on Raheem Morris here, and, and you know, there is ties to Bobby Slowick, but I, I think Ben Johnson, both in Carolina and Washington, have been very popular uh, you know, targets for those two teams. So who will the commanders end up hiring as their head coach? Go ahead and sound off for me in the comments section right now, and make sure you are subscribed on top of that. 
We will be live for the NFC and AFC championship games. Well, we had a great time last Sunday, last Saturday, over 100,000 views. Expecting more of the same this time around. So if you haven't already, hit that sub button right now. The Seahawks will wrap up on the West Coast here. The early list of second interviews for Seattle, the one that have been announced, I think there's more that haven't been publicly announced yet, is very interesting because it's not a normal list of coaches. It's not the same like, oh, we got Ben Johnson, etc. It's Jiro Evero, who is a very good young defensive coordinator, Patrick Graham, the Raiders DC, Mike Kafka, the Giants offensive coordinator, Raheem Morris, who I think is more worthy than Dan Quinn. Oh, by the way, there is at least one, I'm going to call it a rumor report, because I'm not familiar with, with the writer who is a West Coast author or West Coast reporter, allegedly, uh, that Dan Quinn is interested in. Uh, he might bring Chip Kelly with him as the offensive coordinator, so wouldn't that be something? Uh, the other interviews here, some more notable names, either planned or set up, Ben Johnson, Bobby Slowick, Frank Smith, and Mike Vrabel, so we'll keep an eye on that. But this, this, these jobs are, uh, or these interviews, the second ones, are a very interesting group. You're trying to replace Pete Carroll. Might not be the easiest thing in the end. So final prediction for these head coaching gigs. Who will the Seahawks end up hiring as their head coach? Sound off for me in the comment section right now.